Look how awesome Sam is at being well packed and everything. She's so well, she's so clean. I mean, she's been a great person to ham on this holiday. And at some points, there is times when I've been on holiday with people that are really messy. So it, sometimes it's been a struggle actually being with them. Mm, can't say that I'm, I'm that good. I've got some clothes and everything scattered around there. But I've been making an effort and I've started packing them away. So I'm trying to follow her example. Yeah. So, one thing I forgot to record yesterday, which was because my phone ran out of battery when I went and got these, was the souvenirs I got for my little challenge from um, Edinburgh Zoo. Now, <clears throat> went around, just having a look around, um, there was a huge abundance of penguin stuff and panda stuff all around the shop, so... Um, but I wasn't particularly thrilled at the idea of getting anything pan or penguin related. I want something which is a bit more neutral and Edinburgh Zoo-ish, if that makes sense. Although I freaked out Sam by having this creepy little... Pet, well, wait, it was a panda puppet for your hand. But um, I creeped out Sam by making it all creepy and going, Hello, Samantha. Is that true? The panda puppet thing. Um, Hello, Samantha. Um, <laughs> oh, so anyway. I'm kind of hiding so you can show everybody that I'm real. Da -da -na, na -na. Oh, <gasps> My god, she looks like one of those creepy Japanese horror movie creeper creatures. You know, the thing from um, the house? <laughs> oh. So anyway, I, I was having a look around and I ended up getting two different things because um, I couldn't decide. So the first thing was another fridge magnet, but it actually said um, Edinburgh Zoo on it, whilst the other ones usually just had pictures of random animals from the zoo. I thought that was pretty cool. It was very, it's quite a different shape and stuff to the other magnets I got. Um, but the other thing was, this is what really tore me, because I saw the magnet, but I really liked this as well. It's this gorgeous little marble polar bear. Although it's got some black shadowing on the back, as you can see. So you can't pretend it's kind of albino panda. Albino pandas! Oh, isn't it gorgeous? Only a few quid, and it's a great little souvenir. Whenever I look at it, I will remember Edinburgh Zoo. <laughs> oh, so we just climbed up that massive hill on our attempt to get towards the castle. Well, um, da -da -da -da. See if I can show you guys. Still got a bit of climbing to do to get up there, actually. So, yeah, but it, it is not, it's nicer than climbing up a load of steps, isn't it, Sam? No, oh. oh, she says. Let's, let's see how. Let's see where we can find the entrance. Oh, so we're slowly approaching Edinburgh Castle. So exciting! All this construction work around us. They're currently building stands for this massive uh, military celebration called the Edinburgh Tattoo. So they're going to literally have stands all around here and seats all in this courtyard to host this massive celebration, fireworks, military processions, etc. It's a pity we're actually not here to see it, but I mean, we came here to see the castle for first and foremost, which we shall be doing. Yay! Uh, Oh, finally we got inside after queuing for like half an hour to get tickets. Absolutely manic. But finally we're going inside. Yay! The view of Edinburgh from the from uh, the pa the apartments of uh, the castle. Absolutely stunning. You can see the old tra you can see the train lines just running down there. See, there's a train actually going now into the underground station. quite stunning to see it up, up top from here. If you didn't know that you were on a mountain top already, looking at all this, like a proper little street with houses and everything, you'd, you wouldn't imagine you're actually on the castle mountain top. <laughs> so we just went and saw the uh, National War Museum of Scotland. It, it, it was very nice, I quite enjoyed it. We more had a kind of quick flick through it than anything else. Because I think we're more keen to actually see the other parts of the castle at the second, aren't we? Mm -hmm. 
and such. Um, but as you can see, the sun has actually started to come out as well. So we probably take off our jumpers and such, and we can enjoy some more nicer weather on our trip. Yay! We're here waiting on these steps because it's the only place we could actually get somewhere to watch this. Um, that cannon gun thing you can see over there, it's going to fire the one o'clock salute. It's a tradition which they do every day here in Edinburgh. Um, and apparently, anyone in town at one o'clock looks towards the castle to see if they can see the um, cannon being fired as well. Um, it's not quite one o'clock just yet, but hopefully I'm going to catch it when it uh, shoots. How long I'd be very scared. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, I mean, jump. Oh, so we've left the castle, we had a really good visit. What was your favourite part, Sam? I have to get back to your house. <laughs> My favourite part was the chapel. I really, well, the memorial chapel. Yeah. Oh, I really loved, it was so artistic, so well done. Um, the stained glass and all the decoration was amazing. It had a, it had a real not air of um, tranquility to it. I thought it was really nice. The architecture and the views, that's yeah. what Sam really liked. I agree, the arch they had some really good architecture. I love the little St. Margaret's Chapel. Um, sorry about all the noise, it's all the construction work for the stands they're doing. We're now off into town to um, find something to eat. Yay! We left the um, castle and we had lunch. Just try and use it on half a bit. So we left the castle, we've moved it along, we're now walking along the Royal Mile and having a good look around and we have come to, can you see that? I'm not sure you can see the name of it quite, but this is the fringe shop and we, me and Sam have decided we're going to go and have a good moosey around. Let's do it. So the fringe shop just had t-shirts in it, which was kind of disappointing. There was another downstairs bit where you could go kit for ticket collection, but that's really only for the um, the fringe shows when it's on. So it's kind of kind of disappointing. So we've given up walking along the um, Royal Mile. We reached the end, went down, sat near the um, Scottish Parliament buildings. But we're just completely knackered now, to be honest, walking down it. Um, we also went and saw the Writers Museum and the Museum of Childhood. Um, I just generally shot along the route, but now we're just like totally knackered. So we're probably going to end up walking back to the hotel at some point. I mean, it's going to be a bit, because it was all downhill, we're going to have to now walk, unfortunately, a bit uphill. <laughs> That's going to be fun. There you go. These cakes are ridiculously nice looking. Oh my word. Just have a look at it. Look at those big cakes over there. Oh, I want the cake. I want the cake. Oh, and over here even, there's such a selection. Look at that chocolate cake with profiterole on top. Oh, Sam, can we come here tomorrow and get some? Sam scratching, trying to get in. <laughs> Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, we'll come back here tomorrow and have one for afternoon tea. We're now hunting for a post office because I wrote a comedy postcard to my parents, um, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, oh, but we're not going to Greg's for dinner. Seagull. Oh dear. Apparently, we're going to Greg's for dinner. So, quality pasties on Sam. Oh no, no. Oh god. We will find this post office which is around here somewhere. Um, yes, and then I'll show you what my card is before I send away. So this little joke card I'm sending to my parents. Mum, Dad and the rest. Edinburgh is awesome. Love it. I'll stay here forever. I found a nice redhead Scottish boy who's putting me up in his family castle. I'm marrying into riches. Farewell forever. Hugh, kiss, kiss, kiss. By the way, the joke is free. And that is going to be sent to my parents. Sam will now administer it into the post box. 
Sam, administer into the said post box. Do it now. And it's sent. And it's off. You, you daft moo. Oh, all right. So we're back here in our bedroom, and we're just binging on junk food. At don't listen to her, she's giggling her head off. Uh, we're binging on junk food and Sam is like, Look everyone, there's Sam, she's all covered under the covers. Oh, but you were giggling a moment ago, giggle again. <laughs> she's, she's, un she's under there and she's, she's doing disturbing things. <laughs> jokes, jokes, jokes. Um, so I was just going to quickly show you guys the uh, part of my challenge to buy, you know, stuff from wherever we visited. I didn't show you guys what I got from the castle earlier on. I was going to do it during lunchtime, but completely forgot. Uh, um, so it was a toss up because uh, I found several great things. Um, so in the end, I stuck with the thing for the magnets. So I've got this fantastic model magnet like thing, a bit different from what you saw. Um, I got this, I bought some postcards, including a really great joke postcard I wrote to. Um, my parents, which I showed you earlier on, but also got this brilliant scenic one of the castle and several buildings lit up at night, which I should put on my wall at home. And as we were exiting the castle, we found these prints for sale outside on the street. Um, I don't know, they look like mass produced prints, really. You know, you're selling for cheap prices. But look, he was trying to shift them as well. But anyway, I mean, look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous, and it's only two quid in the end. I thought that was a brilliant buy. Exactly the sort of thing I wanted. I saw more prints out and about. Oh, you saw that brilliant that woman with all her brilliant uh, prints and stuff. I really want them, and I hope she's there tomorrow because I might just give in and buy a couple of really nice ones, and we'll get your dad a military tattoo. Oh, I got control by spending. Um, so yeah, that's everything for tonight. We're just gonna completely binge and enjoy our last night here in Edinburgh, and we shall hopefully go climbing tomorrow. Oh, I found out what the hills, the hill we're hopefully going to climb is called Carlton Hill. Also, we shall see if that is. Uh, hopefully, it will not rain. All right, bye. Say good night, Sam. No. Say good night. Night. <laughs> good.